Today we review the Rafa Pro Team Jersey. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. In today's video, we review Rafa's best Pro Team Jersey yet. And here it is. I took it out of the bag, tags are still on it, wore it briefly, but uh, now I get to put it on the road. This jersey uh, has a lot of refinements and knowing how particular Rafa is, I wanted to start off by showing you all what those refinements are. The jersey has different kinds of lycra on it. Down here, they have more breathable lycra. It's a little harder to see since the color is all the same here, but you can see that the material on the bottom is different. The material around the neck is the same as the material on the bottom. The material on the arms and the bottom and the neck are more breathable than the rest of the jersey. Those are the areas that dissipates heat under the armpit as well. So they did the entire arm in a more breathable material, the entire bottom on both sides in a more breathable material all the way to the pockets. The pockets are with the regular material. They put their what they call convicts of the road stripes in the middle. It's reflective, very reflective. Same thing as the armband. The, the Rafa lettering on the armband is reflective. The pockets have a subtle elastic band that goes across the top. Of course, the reinforced. I'm going to show you the reinforcement from, from the inside because it makes a difference. Some companies will reinforce just the middle. Rafa reinforces and makes sure that this extra material that's added that you see there is reinforced around the edges of the extra material. What that means is that as the pockets get a lot of tension, it doesn't just pull from where the stitching is so that this material does not take all the load. It makes a difference when you're dealing with lightweight jerseys. So I wanted to point that out. The, the, they put a security pocket on the side of the pocket instead of on this breathable material, which makes sense because this material is very sheer. So the zippered compartment for the pocket is right there on the, the side of this heavier. The pocket material is heavier, but then on the inside, they have like a screen inside the pocket for ventilation. I mean, they really did not mess with the details on this one. There is a story on the inside, which I will read in a bit. For those of you who have seen my other reviews, as usual, Rafa has a story in there. On the bottom of the pocket, it's the same breathable material that is the arm, the neck, and so forth. Then they've got a band, an elastic band at the bottom that which keeps the jersey in place. I want to read that story before I put the jersey on. So let me take this uh, hanger off. And this relates to a person called J. Van Klees, V-A-N-C-L-A-E-S, a former racer. I had the legs to win, but in racing, there are no sure bets. My lowly ranked team was sponsored by a bookmaker and the director sportif. They just wrote DS, but that's what it means. The, the director sportif wanted to pay out. He pulled the car up alongside me and with a cigarette dangling from his lip, demanded I finish third or else. The car drifted back. In other words, he didn't want the guy to win because he was going to bet on him. So he said the car drifted back. He picked up his mobile phone and placed a bet on me. I weighed the odds. Follow orders, keep my job, or go for the win. I tightened the buckles on my shoes, looked back at the team car, put my middle finger in the air and attacked. That's what's in this pocket. Now I can put on this jersey. I'm going to move this microphone that I have, the recorder, so that it does not interfere with the jersey. I'll move it to my back. The material is very close to like wearing silk. That's the best way I can describe it. The quality is very clear. You can see I don't have the thinnest arms, but look how it just slipped onto me. This is a size large. Everything feels good on your skin. Go ahead and 
put this zipper in. Very easy to get that on there, as always. This pink uh, label thing is in the way, so I'm going to move it to the side. I never take the label off until the jersey has proven itself as a keeper. The jersey, the, 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 the zipper is very easy to use. And that's, that's, that's something I check for all the time. You, need, you must be able to do this on the bike with one hand. Otherwise, it's ineffective. You need to be able to adjust your ventilation. Very easy. The neck feels good. Fits me really well. So there's sizing on this thing. Now, look how this thing fits like second skin. It is it's, it's very well fitted without feeling constricted. Your body's not under any kind of pressure. Just a warm glove-like feeling. That's what I get. So I'm going to load up this jersey with uh, kind of representation of what I usually carry. At a minimum, on most rides, I carry a couple of these, two of these, sometimes more. And so let me get more for like the, the weekend rides. Okay. So what I usually do is I start with the hard stuff against my body. I put that in first. And then it's, it's a little easier to slip these in. I don't really care when I put these in, whether to go behind or in front. But always put the hard stuff in because it helps keep the shape of the pocket. The gels and stuff, they're malleable enough when you put them in. Now, as I begin to load the pockets, I'm going to stand to the side so you can see what the design does. And they have it on the other jerseys also. The pocket begins to bulge up and away from your body. And right now, everything feels secure. This band that they have at the top of the pocket really keeps the pocket from getting unwieldy, if you know what I mean. It retains the shape as the pocket grows. So that's just a representation there. Then I, my trusty utilities pack, they have a loop for your pump. What I usually do, which I think is kind of cool, is the loop right there. I just grab the loop like this. I take the pump, I always put the pump head down, but I, to feed it in, I, put, I go from the opposite end, I bring the pump up so that the head will be down because it's easier to do that way, and then I just slide it into the side. So now my pump is in a loop. What's the significance of that? If you have to take this thing out, this kit out, the pump does not fall in the pocket. So quite a few of their jerseys have that loop in there. There we go. I decided to wear our retro uh, kit with it because I thought, wow, it can pick up that orange in here. I wish that they offered this jersey. I mean, it just came out. I wish they would offer it in the team kit selection so that it could be a choice. And I, I would send them a note and see if they would consider doing that because this feels like something you want to take on your most serious rides. Regardless of that, really, I would love to train in this every day because you can wear this in all kinds of weather. You can, you know, do base layer. I wore the base layer just for this review, but uh, in the summer here, I'm not going to wear a base layer. The jersey is very breathable. I don't have any fans on in the room, but I am, my body temperature is not changing after zipping it up. And if you're wearing something very hard, you know, if you put on a, a, a non-breathable uh, garment, just standing around, your body starts to feel warmer. That's not happening. I can feel the difference in ventilation under here. So they really picked the right materials. And you know how when you're down in the drops, this thing, you know, I read some of the reviews on their site from other people who have purchased the jersey and they complain about this being short. It is supposed to be short. This is how you ride. You guys know if you have a jersey that's too long, it ends up folding up down here. That's how I do the ones that are too long. I fold them because they feel better. I don't like it bunching up on me. That's the reason they're designed like they are. And look at the back. So I'm going to put the gimbal now in the middle because that's what I carry when we're not filming. I brought the gimbal just for this review. So what I usually do is I take the gimbal like this, fold it turn the lens away from my body so that this is on my body so the lenses uh, have no moisture on it that we sometimes we forget to wipe it off and then the film looks fuzzy. So I always fold it like this and I do this while we're riding. So I sit up, do this, 
and this is how I put it. I, I pulled a pocket on the road while riding, and this is what this is how I carry the gimbal when we're not filming. And this is what every jersey must pass, this test, to be able to make it on a Saturday ride. So now I got all this stuff in there and I'm riding, and it just feels secure. That's my test for this stuff. There's no swinging to the sides. I don't ride like this, but I always test it to make sure because the jerseys that don't fit you, any movement causes contents to shift. This thing, as I said in the opening, is their best pro team jersey yet. They make them in, I think, four colors. I will pop them here. Of course, I picked the orange first because I love orange. That's my favorite color. And so uh, you can't go wrong. There will be some shots that I will put in here from a group ride, which I plan to do with the jersey on before this is released. And so as I'm talking about the video, you will see shots from the group ride, see the jersey in action. But those of you who did not see the group ride by the time I made this video. So c consider the Rafa Pro Team jersey that just came out this season.